How the heck are you? Ta-da! Hey, this is Tom the Beer Whisperer, and you're drinking with the Beer Whisperer. And I've got a, an Abita Restoration Pale Ale. And if you watched me at all, you know why I'm drinking this, because I found a mix pack oh, just about two weeks ago now. And it was about three days past date when I got it, so I'm just kind of working through it to finish her up. This is actually my second. I drank one of these already. Just kind of relaxed and, and had one. And you give it a pour there. Can you see that? That's got a nice color. Well, before we go into our, our banter, as it were, our pub banter, uh, let me read from their website and give you the particulars. Restoration Pale. Let me turn my fan off here. Restoration Pale is brewed with pale, caramel, and carapils malts. It is a liberally hopped and dry hopped with cascade hops. Is liberally hopped and dry hopped with Cascade hops. Okay, uh, this golden ale has a rich body, mild bitterness, and snappy citrus hop flavor and aroma. With your help, Restoration raised over five hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a hurricane relief. Very nice. Uh, this beer can be paired with many different dishes according to your taste. Citrus flavor and aroma is an excellent choice with most fish, especially ones that are prepared uh, to match the flavor of the beer. Uh, Okay, uh, the the particulars, beer, uh, ABV is 5.1%, 17 IBUs. Um, okay, well, if we're calling it a pale ale, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, it's kind of light, uh, uh, on the hoppage, anyway. Hoppage, that's my word, I love the word hoppage. But <laughs> I digress. Yeah, 17 IBUs is, is lighter than, than most pales, but okay, let's give her a taste. Uh, it does have a nice aroma, very malty, very bready aroma. Okay, despite uh, being lighter in IBUs than, than most uh, pails, it does have some flavor. It is good. Um, you know, maybe a, a beginner pail, you know what I'm saying? Oh. It is very refreshing, very tasty, though, i got to admit. And um, I drank their IPA the other day. So I figured I better go through the IPAs. I sat and drank one one night. I did a review the other night. And in my opinion of it was it wasn't one of my absolute favorites. You know, it, it just wasn't. There's something about it that didn't quite work for me. But uh, I reflected on something a beer friend said. Uh, Jeremy Weeks had, had said uh, I had sent him some IPAs uh, from here. And there was one that he said he didn't get. And, I, and I, I said, you didn't like that one? He says, no, I never say I don't like it. I say I just didn't get it. And that makes great sense, especially, you know, when we're talking about quality craft beers, almost all of these are on the same part. There's going to be some that you like better, even amongst us beer Greeks and even amongst a, a specific category like an IPA. There's going to be these tiny, minute taste differences that all of us are looking for something specific. And it was kind of the, the, has how it worked for me with that Giacomo IPA from Abita. There was just something that wasn't working for me. But I did drink both of them. You know, I mean, I did. They, they certainly weren't. I wasn't going to throw anything out. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and I kind of went around a long way around the barn uh, to, to make the point I was trying to make was that I, I really enjoy this. <laughs> Uh, this this pail is very nice. It's very enjoyable. Everything about it works for me. Again, it's not the biggest pail out there, so if you're expecting something like that, it may not be what you're looking for. But I'm talking about for pure refreshment, for enjoyment, this, this thing works beautifully. Let me fill my glass up here. Because I'm really going through this thing awful quick because it's really hitting the spot. I'm sitting here uh, yesterday. Uh, was uh, uh, our anniversary, the wife and I, uh, 18 years. We've actually been get together 21, but it's 18 years we've been married. Uh, you know, I do, <laughs> she says she doesn't remember breaking three mirrors, but anyway, that's another story. <laughs> uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, times have been, you know, uh, uh, money's all tight, so normally we like to do something for anniversary. Uh, because we're making so many frequent trips to St. Louis, we weren't, we weren't unable to really do anything. And we had just got home over the weekend, so we really had not had a chance to do any shopping. That and the fact that uh, we have to be gone again for two more weeks coming up. So 
Uh, again, we didn't really want to do any shopping to fill the house full, so I've just been using stuff I already had. So I just made a, a quick, easy dinner yesterday because I just didn't have time to do the nice anniversary dinner I usually like to do. I did make a homemade rustic pasta sauce, uh, but I used I kind of cheated and used a bag of ravioli. It still came out nice, but I would have liked to have done more, but it's kind of what I had to work with. I am doing a little more today, though. I've kind of made some time to get a little more done today. Again, not fancy. I'm talking about you know, kind of, kind of a poor folk cuisine. Uh, uh, I'm I'm just doing some pork cutlets or or schnitzel, uh, depending on your ethnic background, whatever you like to call it. Um, and I'm doing a uh, doing some rice. Um, I'm doing a little different though. Uh, I, I mean, normally I, I keep jasmine rice on hand, but we just used all that we had, so I'm just using a, a regular uh, long grain white rice. But I use this stuff as kind of a fortifier. If you can see that there, let me get that in there. Um, I picked this up at uh, a place called Global Foods in uh, Kirkwood, Missouri, and they've got a lot of great ethnic foods. And what you do with this is you just add a little bit of this. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. To your uh, to your to your white rice, and it gives it more flavor, gives it more texture, and it stretches it out. So anyway, so I'm doing the rice with the cutlet. I already made the gravy, kind of got it sitting off to the side. And I've got some, made some homemade broccoli cheese soup. Mm. Wow, this is good. Uh, broccoli cheese soup as a starter, and I'll also do some asparagus. So again, kind of a, a poor folk, you know, uh, uh, meal. But, uh, you, know, you know, again... You know, the uh, beer works for works with what he has. <laughs> you know, again, you know, uh, I'm using a pork. Um, we like pork in this house, <laughs> so you know, uh, I couldn't be Muslim because pork's a deal breaker. <laughs> uh, but um, again, uh, uh, I got it on sale. <laughs> I buy everything kind of marked down here on sale, whether it's beer or food or whatever. I like to find a bargain. I know that probably surprises you. So I, I've got a nice freezer here, so I, whenever I can. But like I said, we haven't had a chance to shop for quite some time. And I know we're leaving, so that's why we're kind of working with what we have to get out the door. So, uh, But anyway, while I'm prepping all that food, I take a break, have a beer, and talk to you about it. Uh, wow. Actually, I'm enjoying this quite a lot. It's got a great finish on it, too. It is lighter than most pails. That may turn some folks off. And it, it might need to, depending on my mood. But it is still warm out here uh, in the Ozarks. And I'm very hot because I've been working in the kitchen on and off for the last couple hours. So... Uh, but, uh, uh, forget what you call it, you know, forget what style it is. Uh, as a beer, it is very refreshing, and there is plenty of flavor. It leaves you with these great hop notes on the back of your palate there. It's very nice. I'm using my Boulevard glass here. I got this, uh, oh, I actually picked it up on sale after Christmas. <laughs> they, were, they were popping these uh, packages up with... Uh, I think I had three or four beers in it in the glass, but I waited till they were marked down <laughs> and I picked it up. Again, surprise, surprise, right? Uh, so anyway, let me finish up this. You know, I'll, I'll kind of move along. But usually when I'm cooking and prepping, I like to have a beer while I'm doing that. It helps me relax. So this, this is, again, this is a great beer for that. A Vita Restoration Pale. Sometimes it's nice just to kick back and have that beer. You know, and you may not want that big, heavy beer for this time. Uh, you know, because you don't want to burn dinner. <laughs> so anyway, hey, let me finish this bad boy down. Mm. Uh, again, you get these, you got these bready malts, and then and you get the hops, and it's, it's just, it just, it's a, uh, it's very tasty. This is something that I would buy six packs of if it were available to me. It is very tasty. Everything about it works for me. So hey, uh, there I am. Who am I? Who are you? Who is anybody? I am. I am. I. I am. <laughs> I'm Dr. Beer Whisper. You were just drinking with the Beer Whisper. Holy Moses. I'm going to get out of here. We'll have another one later.